few years ago, I was working 16 hours a day. I was failing in my business. Most importantly, I was missing all the time with my wife and with my children. And the funny thing is, when I was spending time with them, many years later, they would say to me, Dad, do you remember this? Dad, do you remember that? And you said this and we said that. And I didn't remember. Because even when I did have time with them, I wasn't there. I wasn't in the room. I was somewhere else thinking about work or to pay those bills. That's the tragedy of not being your true self. When you're your true self, you can remember all the moments and you can have more of them. I made a decision to use the key of appreciation and to look at all areas of my life and set new high standards for all those areas and commit to living at those high standards from that point onwards. You know, one of the secrets I've learned for being successful in life is to come from a place of appreciation. What I found is when you start appreciating what you already have, then you're creating a vibration of appreciation and the universe sends you more to be appreciative for. What most people focus on is what they don't have and then you get more of what you don't want. People talk about, I don't want this to happen, I wish that wasn't happening, I don't have this, I don't have that, and then they're getting more of that. And if you take what you've got and start appreciating it, literally, life gets very, very magical.